brain-boosting benefits of coffee. A growing body of literature suggests that moderate coffee consumption delivers a broad range of significant health benefits that go far beyond providing a morning pick-me-up. Researchers have established that coffee can promote cardiovascular and liver health, and has been found to reduce the risk of a variety of cancers. The fact that coffee has protective effects in so many areas indicates that it acts at fundamental cellular and molecular levels, meaning that it is likely to protect the wide range of tissues and organs. Two recent high-quality studies have shown that coffee has another valuable benefit, consuming NG at least 1 to 2 cups per day can boost cognitive function and reduce the risk of cognitive decline, including Alzheimer's disease, the most common form of dementia. Coffee reduces risk of cognitive decline and dementia. While hundreds of studies have been published on coffee consumption, inconsistent findings have left open the question of whether it reduces the risk of cognitive disorders faced by aging adults. When faced with this kind of dilemma, scientists often turn to meta-analysis. This technique combines the results of multiple studies and subjects the pooled data to statistical analyzes, allowing for sophisticated interpretation. Two recent meta-analyzes evaluated the impact of coffee intake on cognitive disorders. Both articles pooled data exclusively from the strongest kind of epidemiological studies, prospective cohorts. These studies follow groups of healthy people forward in time to determine the impact of a particular exposure, here, coffee intake, on a particular health outcome, here, cognitive decline. The first new meta-analysis collected data from 11 prospective cohort studies involving a total of 29,155 subjects. It examined the relationship between coffee consumption and the risk for developing cognitive decline or dementia of any kind. The study found that subjects with the highest daily coffee consumption had a significant 27% reduction in their risk for developing Alzheimer's disease, compared with lower or non-coffee drinkers. However, the study showed that drinking coffee did not have an effect on other forms of cognitive decline or dementia. The second new meta-analysis, however, included more participants, and found significant differences not only in Alzheimer's, but also in other cognitive threats. That study included data from nine prospective cohort studies involving 34,282 participants. It found that, compared with people who drank less than one cup of coffee per day, those drinking one or two cups per day had a significant 18% reduction in the risk of developing any of the following conditions. Alzheimer's disease. Other forms of dementia. Cognitive decline, loss of learning and memory without impairment. Cognitive impairment. Interestingly, the risk of developing cognitive disorders rose in subjects who drank more than three cups per day. This produced what researchers call a J-shaped association, in which the risk of cognitive disorders is higher at zero cups of coffee a day, drops to a minimum at one to two cups a day, and rises again beyond three cups a day. Six. A similar J-shaped association has in fact previously been reported, but in a more limited study. A 10-year prospective cohort study in Europe showed that older men who consumed coffee had a 10-year loss of cognitive function of 1.2 points on a standard mental status examination while non-coffee drinkers had an additional 1.4 point loss, a significant worsening of cognitive function. And when those researchers examined the relationship between the amount of coffee consumed and cognitive decline, they showed that the decline was smallest, 0.6 points, for those drinking about 3 cups per day. That was 4.3 times smaller than that of the non-coffee drinkers. Again, the risk for cognitive decline rose in those drinking more than 3 cups a day producing that J-shaped association. The bottom line from this meta-analysis is that moderate coffee consumption helps prevent cognitive decline. Additional Benefits of Coffee Because coffee is a complex compound composed of many different types of bioactive chemicals, it can be expected to have benefits on many different human disorders, particularly those associated with chemical stress and inflammation. A 2016 meta-analysis has confirmed that coffee has protective effects against stomach cancer, which kills more than 10,000 Americans annually. The analysis included 22 studies involving 7,631 cancer victims and more than a million controls. Compared to non-coffee drinkers, regular coffee drinkers had a 7% reduction in the risk for stomach cancer. Those drinking larger amounts of coffee had a greater risk reduction. More specifically, those drinking less than one cup per day had a 5% reduction in risk, 
those who consumed 1 to 2 cups per day had an 8% reduction, and those drinking 3 to 4 cups per day were 12% less likely to develop stomach cancer, compared with non-coffee drinkers. Other studies support the anti-cancer effects of coffee consumption, demonstrating significant protection against malignancies of the Lee, there, brain, breast, prostate, and ovary, as well as against death from all causes in women over 50. Other recently discovered beneficial effects of coffee include protection against chemical-induced liver damage and acute pancreatitis, and a cardioprotective effect of increasing certain compounds in the blood that can decrease chemical and oxidative stress. Are you drinking the right coffee? Drinking moderate amounts of coffee has been found to greatly reduce the risk of most major diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, and liver disease. And now recent studies show that it can reduce the risk of cognitive decline as well. But are you drinking the right coffee in order to most effectively harness those impressive benefits? If you're drinking standard supermarket roasts, you may not be deriving optimal benefits. That's because modern roasting methods destroy an enormous amount of one of the key sources responsible for coffee's benefits, polyphenols, particularly chlorogenic acid. Fortunately, a new patented technique has been developed that preserves much of the coffee bean's original polyphenol content. With this new method, the coffee beans are soaked in water and then drained before roasting, which essentially captures the polyphenols in the water. Then, after the beans have been roasted, they are placed back in the polyphenol-rich water in order to reabsorb the health-promoting polyphenols. Compared to conventionally processed coffee, this patented technique showed that the new beverages had a higher polyphenol content, representing approximately 250% more chlorogenic acid. As a result, these newer polyphenol-retaining coffees have the potential to deliver many of coffee's impressive health benefits in less than half the number of cups. Summary Within a generation, coffee has gone from being a suspected carcinogen to a widely recognized inhibitor of age-related disorders. Already hailed for its cardioprotective and anti-cancer effects, recent studies now show that coffee consumption is associated with lower risk of cognitive decline, cognitive impairment, and frank dementia including Alzheimer's disease. These newer studies have demonstrated that those drinking 1 to 2, and possibly 3 to 4 cups of coffee per day, have lower risks for these age-related brain problems. There's also new data suggesting that coffee consumption is associated with reduced risks of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and organ damage, all apparently related to coffee's ability to quell chemical stresses and subdue inflammation. Detailed laboratory studies demonstrate that components of coffee act by suppressing the excitotoxicity that contributes to brain cell death and accumulation of toxic proteins in dementia and cognitive decline. Recent studies show moderate coffee drinking, including modest amounts of caffeine, has both short and long-term benefits for brain function. Brain Benefits of L-Theanine and Green Tea There's been a resurgence of interest in the anxiety-relieving powers of L-Theanine, an amino acid found in green tea. Discoveries over the past two years have uncovered exciting additional properties of this nutrient best known for inducing calming, tranquilizing effects while simultaneously improving alertness. New Directions for L-Theanine Scientists are now increasingly interested in applications for L-theanine far beyond its anti-anxiety properties. Excessive glutamate stimulation of brain cells, excitotoxicity, is a factor in development of long-term neurodegenerative disorders, stroke, and schizophrenia. Therefore, L-theanine's glutamate blocking capabilities make it promising for neuroprotection and prevention in these areas. And while its deeper mechanisms are still under investigation, there is tantalizing evidence that L-theanine influences expression of genes in brain areas responsible for fear and aggression, amygdala, and memory, hippocampus, helping to balance the behavioral responses to stress, and potentially improve conditions such as mood disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and substance dependence. L-theanine may play a role in ameliorating schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, literally a split mind in which sufferers experience a cutoff from reality, is one of the most tragic and misunderstood disorders known. People with schizophrenia may experience positive symptoms such as hallucinations, delusions, and paranoid thinking, as well as negative symptoms including loss of ability to experience pleasure, blunted emotions, and diminished speech capacity. 
perhaps because schizophrenia may involve excitotoxic damage to brain cells. L-theanine has recently been the focus of human studies in patients with this disease. In one study of 40 patients with schizophrenia, subjects were given placebo or 400 mg length theanine, along with their regular medications for an 8-week trial. The supplemented patients demonstrated significant reductions in their anxiety, and general symptoms of psychopathology. A 250 mg per day dose of L-theanine significantly improved, in a different study scores on positive symptoms, as well as in sleep quality. And the combination of L-theanine, 400 mg per day, with the hormone Pregnenone, 50 mg per day, was capable of reversing not only anxiety, but also negative symptoms. L-theanine reduces stroke impact. A stroke is the result of a sudden blockage of blood, ischemia, to a part of the brain, resulting in massive chemical stresses, extreme excitotoxicity, and eventual death of brain cells. The latest studies show that L-theanine has properties that may both help to prevent strokes, and to mitigate the damage caused when they do occur. Lab studies show that L-theanine is capable of significantly improving nitric oxide production in endothelial, artery lining, cells. This has the potential to lower stroke risk because nitric oxide is a signaling molecule that endothelial cells use to communicate information about blood flow and pressure to muscles in the artery walls, telling them to constrict or relax appropriately in response and distributing blood flow appropriately.